Please be seated. The former Brooklyn Center, Minnesota police officer who said she confused her handgun with her taser was convicted of two counts of manslaughter in the death of Dante Wright. Kim Potter was ordered into custody right after the verdicts and she was taken away in handcuffs and after a jury found her guilty of first degree manslaughter and second degree manslaughter. Her defense attorneys after the guilty verdict they asked that she not be taken into custody right away. They said she's amenable to probation. She's not a flight risk. She's not a danger to society. They even cited Christmas and said she's a devout Catholic and it's the Christmas season and she should not be taken in. She's been out on bail since, since this started, since this happened back in April. But the judge disagreed and, and ordered her into custody, saying Kim Potter shouldn't be treated any differently than anyone else in a situation like this. So she was taken out of the courtroom in handcuffs. One of her family members did shout, love you, Kim, as she was um, escorted out. This case dates back to April when Dante Wright was killed during a traffic stop. The uh, Kim Potter said at the time that she had mistaken her taser for her handgun and she tried to pull out her taser and she instead pulled out her handgun and shot him. This case was handled by the Minnesota Attorney General's Office of Keith Ellison. And after the verdict, he gave a news conference in which he said that this brought some level of accountability to Dante Wright's death, but it didn't bring justice. He said the only way justice could be brought is if Wright's life could be restored. And so there is no justice in that case. But he said accountability is the critical step and it's necessary on the road to justice for everyone. 